the moments that all fans have been waiting for seem to have arrived. Although hopes for a Cybertruck delivery event in Q3 have just passed, the highly anticipated vehicle still appears to be in the final stages before delivery. It's still unclear when Tesla will officially begin deliveries, but one of the X revelations about a recent crash test at Gigafactory Texas suggests that Tesla is still on track with their plans to deliver absolute safety for customers and secure delivery opportunities in the near future. So, what were the results of that test, and how impressive has Cybertruck been? Join us to find out the latest delivery reveal and some of the Cybertruck's impressive design in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel where we talk about everything Tesla. And before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ring the bell so you won't miss out on any of our exciting videos in the future. Now, let's get started. From this revelation, we can realize that the Tesla Cybertruck was located in Giga, Texas as a result of the crash test, and it was located north of Tesla's internal testing facility. According to what we analyzed in previous episodes, in order for Cybertruck to officially deliver, Tesla must be granted a certificate of a compliance from the EPA, as well as crash test results from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, or NHTSA. So, what were the results of the Cybertruck crash test? Well, from an aerial perspective, the Cybertruck appears to have completed a small overlap frontal crash test that evaluates the vehicle's performance when only the driver's side of the vehicle's front end collides with a barrier. Or it could be an offset frontal impact test to evaluate how well a vehicle absorbs and distributes collision energy used in some safety evaluations, such as the Insurance Institute for Safety's Highway Test, or IIHS. However, the warning tape posted on the Cybertruck indicates that the last test it performed was an offset frontal impact test. According to our research, this tape divides the vehicle in half to determine the collision location with the other half where the driver dummy is placed. So the front of the Cybertruck seems to show that it's partially distorted in the left corner. For this test, the front bumper would normally be deformed more heavily towards the driver. But the Cybertruck did well, as we see that the deformation is actually negligible. In addition, Cybertruck also suffered some other minor damage along the side of the driver's side that is worth our consideration. As for the front of the car that deformed upon impact, it shows a strong frame. We only see the steel shell bending during axial impact. Turning to a few IIHS crash test examples, it's unlikely we'll be able to find the front bumper after the test because most will fall off or be crumpled. However, what we see here is that the front of the car is only distorted and the frame is still intact here. Inside the cabin, the airbags appear to have deployed on both the left and front sides, showing how well it works on the Cybertruck. Although there are no official results from the manufacturer and testing agency, there is no reason for a car to be desirable in the future without airbags deployed. The front left window is actually broken. According to Elon Musk, it's a bulletproof glass. But here, there's no bullet flying directly into the glass. You can destroy it by impacting the edges. However, the windscreen seems to be more difficult to destroy. It only shows some cracks and bends at the corner where it was impacted by the collision obstacle. Over the past few months, Tesla's been building an on-site crash testing facility at Giga Texas. With the long tent-like structure taking shape in the northeast section of the Giga Texas factory complex, this is also the first time Cybertruck has been discovered to have completed testing directly at the facility right at the factory campus. This can help reduce costs for future tests while also fulfilling Elon's goal of making sure he implements a slow but steady plan before sending the Cybertruck for testing at NHTSA or IIHS. Of course, this is a very good sign that Tesla is working towards real deliveries in the market. Not long ago, Elon was hoping to hold a delivery event before the end of third quarter. But that hope's come and gone as the results of the test have yet to be announced. The latest speculations by most people are that it'll happen in October. Because all of Tesla's current product lines appear to have achieved top safety ratings in US and European crash tests, Model Y and 3 both earned IIHS's highest top safety pick plus award. Meanwhile, Model X and S have also achieved 5-star NHTSA ratings in the past. Therefore, there's no reason why Tesla can't complete a real-world testing at NHTSA or IIHS in the future for the Cybertruck. In addition to the safety factors that we all mention, a part that's never appeared before makes us stir in wonder, and that's Cybertruck's windshield wipers and tonu cover. 
how impressive are some of the new Cybertruck designs? One of the craziest parts of the car is the giant single windshield wiper. This is truly one of the craziest parts of this pickup. In 2021, Elon Musk confirmed that the controversial wiper blades discovered in the new Cybertruck Alpha prototype will not appear in the production version of the all-electric pickup truck. Something that Elon Musk once asserted that it will not appear. However, in new versions, appearing this year, some improvements to the windshield wipers have been made. It's still placed vertically on the windshield compared to previous versions instead of horizontally like traditional models. However, the wiper position is farther away from the edge of the windshield to increase the wiper distance on the glass, making it more consistent with the length of the windshield and its angularity. Interestingly, Tesla had planned initially for laser-powered Cybertruck wipers. What's interesting is that Tesla initially planned for the Cybertruck's windshield wipers to be laser-powered. Elon admitted is something that actually bothers him the most. He noted that a wiper blade that could be deployed and stowed in the trunk would be better, but such a solution could be complicated. So Tesla registered a patent for a wiper system that the company calls an electromagnetic windshield wiper system. In addition, some leaked images show that the Cybertruck has a Tonu cover controller that helps drivers easily choose to use it when they want to use the rear bed to load goods. The buttons appearing right above the side of the tank have a simple design but match the flat surface at the back. A Tonu solar panel would be an additional option to increase the range by 15 to 30 miles a day. In Tesla's newly published integrated vehicle Tonu cover patent, several inventors submitted their ideas and designs for the Cybertruck's fully mechanical Tonu cover. Guided along a series of grooves in the truck floor, the Tonu cover is Tesla's way of helping car owners protect their belongings without having to buy expensive aftermarket bed covers. Almost all of Elon's innovations have been patented and it could be an option that will be applied in the future on the Cybertruck. To achieve unique, useful, and safe designs for everyone, waiting for the final results from crash tests will be the best we can do. Now, it seems that everything Tesla is doing demonstrates their great efforts in serving millions of future orders and the global vehicle electrification plan. What additional details do you hope Tesla will continue to update with Cybertruck? Let us know what you're thinking in the comments section down below. Tesla continues to tease us with more Cybertruck test track footage at the Fremont factory. And basically everyone who has even a small interest in the pickup is begging for deliveries to begin. It is far from the first time we've seen Tesla put the Cybertruck on the Fremont test track, but as deliveries are set to begin soon, the teasing the automaker is doing to everyone is getting us to a point where we just want them to finally begin. The Cybertruck was most recently spotted on Fremont's test track yesterday, zipping around the turns and accelerating down the straightaways in what is more than likely continuous testing as the pickup is set to hit the streets soon. We are still awaiting any indication that the EPA has started assessing the Cybertruck for its Certificate of Conformity, which would allow Tesla to officially begin deliveries. While we have heard various rumors about Cybertruck deliveries, nothing can truly be handed over to the public without the Certificate of Conformity and Crash Test Worthiness assessments from the NATSA. Until then, Tesla will continue testing which is likely what has been the cause of all the sightings of the Cybertruck over the past six months. Things have definitely gotten more serious over the past few weeks, as crash-tested Cybertrucks have been spotted on several occasions, including one that was rolled and showed a fully intact cabin. Although the Cybertruck is known for its ruggedness, polarizing design, and assumed utility, it is still an electric vehicle built by Tesla which means it will be equipped with white knuckle speed and acceleration. It will be far from your traditional pickup truck, that is for sure. While Tesla will continue flaunting it before our eyes, it will all be over soon. At least we hope. Tesla still has plans to deliver it before the end of the year. It sure would be fitting to have the first deliveries roll out on the four-year anniversary of the Cybertruck unveiling event, wouldn't it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. One special thing that was recently revealed, Elon Musk said that Tesla Cybertruck may have a diamond-like coating option. Recently, Elon Musk took to his favorite social media platform X to respond to some burgeoning thoughts from his followers. The latest news to come out of his messaging spree relates to the much-anticipated Tesla Cybertruck. 
In an ex-post, he suggested that his electric vehicles company Tesla might just offer the option of a scratch-proof coating for the Cybertruck. The electric pickup truck can receive a coating that is similar to the toughness of diamonds to prevent key scratches and more. Musk responded to a fan who wrote that people who will be trying to key a Cybertruck will be ruining their keys. He stated, we might be able to offer an optional tungsten carbide coating, which is basically scratch-proof to everything below diamond hardness. At the moment, Tesla wrote on their website regarding the exterior toughness and durability of the Cybertruck, stating that it is built with an exterior shell made for ultimate durability and passenger protection. Starting with a nearly impenetrable exoskeleton, every component is designed for superior strength and endurance, from ultra-hard 30X cold rolled stainless steel structural skin to Tesla armor glass. This appears to not be enough for Musk, who plans to take one step further with the upcoming EV lineup. And the last part of today's news, let's see why Cybertruck now has off-road capabilities not inferior to Range Rover or Ford pickups. If Tesla wants to make it in North America's highly competitive pickup truck segment, the Cybertruck must be a very versatile product, a jack of all trades as the saying goes. Besides being able to haul as much stuff as possible and tow heavy trailers, the Cybertruck also needs to prove itself against the competition when it comes to practicality, efficiency, and performance both on and especially off the beaten track. Tesla is aware of this and is testing the Cybertruck in all sorts of environments and conditions. We've seen Cybertruck prototypes undergoing testing in cold weather, hot weather, driving in the city and on the highway, and even off-road. Speaking of the latter, a pair of dusty Tesla Cybertruck release candidate RC vehicles were recently spotted in Northern California at the Hollister Hills State Vehicular Recreation Area, just an hour's drive south of San Jose. An off-road enthusiast who goes by the name of Muddy Ruts on YouTube was very impressed to see the Tesla Cybertrucks up close and personal, despite the fact he describes himself as a Jeep guy and diesel guy. The video he filmed on site shows both vehicles with the air suspension seemingly in the highest setting, revealing a generous ride height and good approach and departure angles for a truck of this size. The Tesla engineers allegedly demonstrated the Cybertruck's air suspension to him, although that's not shown in the video revealing the huge difference between its lowest and highest setting. The vehicles were equipped with 20-inch wheels and all-terrain tires. The footage also shows one of the electric trucks climbing a hill and driving on a road, catching a glimpse of the rear wheel steering system in action. The video uploader claims the Tesla engineers who were testing the Cybertrucks at the site, located in the Gabalan Mountains, were very friendly and answered all of his questions. That's how he learned the Cybertruck release candidate trucks were driven all the way up from Texas to Hollister Hills to do a little off-road testing. More importantly, he says the Tesla employees told him that deliveries of the Cybertruck should start in October. If this is accurate, it means that initial deliveries have been delayed by a few weeks as they were originally expected to happen before the end of Q3II. E. In late September, according to Elon Musk. Still, that's milliseconds compared to the four-year wait since the unveiling of the original Cybertruck show vehicle in November 2019. Hungary President Katalin Nov K. met with Elon Musk on Monday at Tesla's Austin Gigafactory. In addition to discussions about Ukraine and population collapse, the meeting included a tour of the production facility and a test drive of the forthcoming Cybertruck, as a new video shows. Musk and Nov K. both posted video teasers of the meeting on XA showing them and a larger crew of officials touring various areas of the factory and test driving the highly anticipated Cybertruck. The video opens with the two greeting Musk and Grimes' son, XA-12, and checking out areas inside and outside Gigafactory, Texas. Around the 32-second mark, a Cybertruck appears, and you can see Nov K climbing inside as Musk and X stand nearby. The news comes just after Musk has met with various world leaders in the past week or so, including Thailand Prime Minister Sreta Thavizan, Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, and Turkey President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. The meetings included widely varying topics of discussion, 
with many of them touching on plans for upcoming Tesla production facilities. Notably, Musk also took Netanyahu for a test drive in a Cybertruck during their meetings last week. More and more details show that Cybertruck will definitely be launched later this year. Heads of state are warmly welcomed by Elon Musk with unforgettable experiences with this upcoming beast. Elon Musk reveals that Tesla has a performance Cybertruck indicating that it could be one of the first versions of the electric pickup truck. We have recently seen evidence that at least some of Tesla's Cybertruck release candidates are dual motor powertrain trucks. Now CEO Elon Musk is now adding some information into the mix by saying on X that he recently drove a performance Cybertruck. I just drove the performance Cybertruck today and it kicks ass next level. This means that Tesla currently has a performance version of the Cybertruck, which could mean it could be among the first versions to come to market. Tesla has previously announced a tri-motor version of the Cybertruck with the following specs. Tri-motor a WD with 500 plus miles of range, 060 amp in 2.9 seconds, top speed of 130 MP, and starting price of $69,900. That could certainly qualify as a performance version, but there have also been rumors of Tesla offering a potential quad motor version of the Cybertruck, which could have even higher performance. Next, how is Cybertruck production going at the Giga Texas facility? Tesla Cybertruck units that are being called manufacturing confirmation builds are being seen on the Giga Texas property as the company is revamping the factory to full production after a stoppage to upgrade lines. These units show impeccable build quality and they are the best Cybertruck builds we have seen to date. With the Cybertruck heading toward initial deliveries, as Tesla still plans to start with them before the end of the year, things are getting interesting on the Giga Texas property. Earlier, SEP 25 Giga Texas Observer and Drone Operator Joe Techmayer captured images of two manufacturing confirmation Cybertrucks. Tetmeyer referred to them as master candidates. These manufacturing confirmation Cybertrucks are the first few units to roll off of the new and improved production lines at the Texas factory, which were shut down for several weeks to make room for improvements. Tesla told us during the Q2 earnings call that it would need to shut down each of its factories to upgrade production lines during Q3, which could contribute to a slightly lower quarter than expected. These Cybertruck units are a validation of those new production lines and will not be delivery candidates, according to Gregor Truck, a Cybertruck program insider. These will make way for the next Cybertruck production units, which will be known as Series 9 and could be the first handed over to customers. The insider told us that the Series 8 Cybertruck units could be the ones that end up in showrooms as Tesla will begin to get those into locations across the United States, likely in the near future. As for Giga Texas, production should be back up to normal rates by next week as the stoppage will take a few days to recover from. Tesla is building Model Y units at the factory as well as these early Cybertruck units. Elon Musk revealed this past weekend that Tesla has a performance trim of the Cybertruck, giving us a hint at what configurations of the all-electric pickup might be available at first deliveries. Besides boosting production, Cybertruck also has changes in design. So what are those changes? Online forums and social media have been prolific when it comes to leaked images and videos of the upcoming Tesla Cybertruck, but detailed up-close images of the inside of the bed have been rather scarce. An image has been posted on social media platform X by user at Dimazinyuk that reveals some puzzling details about the Cybertruck's bed and raises questions about the size claims previously shared by Tesla. When Tesla initially debuted the Cybertruck, it was shown with featureless vertical walls surrounding the bed. But this new image depicting what appears to be a release candidate test mule reveals slanted walls. Logically, it makes sense that Tesla would have struggled to achieve the straight side walls promised in the concept since the wheel arches need to take up some internal space the same way they do in every other pickup truck on the market. What makes the slanted sides peculiar is that they're a self-inflicted consequence of using stainless steel. 
what he choice to use stainless steel throughout the body of the vehicle, including in the bed of the pickup truck, an area where aluminum or regular steel are generally preferred, has possibly led to this odd design quirk. Instead of being able to stamp out the shape of the bed, the rigidity of the stainless steel likely means that Tesla has to use flat panels to create the walls and bottom of the bed. While this is potentially a non-issue given many pickup truck owners use their vehicles more as family runarounds than for hauling tools and construction materials, it does raise questions about just how functional the box of the Cybertruck will be. It's unclear just how wide the Cybertruck's bed is and how much of the space is taken up by the sloping sides, but Telsa CEO Elon Musk previously stated that it would have a six-foot bed, which would theoretically make it more useful than the Ford F-150 Lightning. This sloped wall development calls this utility advantage into question somewhat. On the positive side, both sides of the bed were lined with an LED light strip, which should prove particularly useful for anyone looking to get anything loaded or unloaded at night and needs their hands free to do so. With this, we conclude today's episode. We genuinely appreciate your viewership and the support you've shown our channel, Tesla Car World. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, share it, subscribe to our channel, and activate the notification bell to stay informed about exciting developments in the realm of electric vehicles. We look forward to connecting with you again in the future. Until then, take care and stay safe.